In this video, I want to show you how you can create a floating WhatsApp widget on your website so customers can contact you via WhatsApp. I'm going to show you two options to do so. So without further ado, let's get started. When you're in your WP admin dashboard, what you want to do is head over to your pages or for if you're using a template, go to your templates and choose your footer. For that example, I usually put it on the footer. That's my personal preference for that, but you can do it also on the page for a specific or if you are using a landing page, you can do that too. So for that example, let's go to the demo page and let's edit with Elementor. Now we have a blank page. Let me just clear it a little bit. Let's go to the settings. Let's go over here and let's set it to Elementor canvas. Let's give it a little second to reload. And that's great. Let's update this. And right over here, what I want to do is grab the icon widget, drag and drop it into the box. And right over here, what I want to do is choose the WhatsApp icon. So I'm going to type here WhatsApp. And I'm going to choose this one without the background. So we're going to add the background a little bit later. So right over here, insert. Right under the view option, what you want to do is choose the stacked right over here and then keep it a circle. Let's go over to style and let's change the color or the background color of the WhatsApp widget or the WhatsApp icon to the green one. Let's put it green. And let's set it. I think yeah, I like that color. It looks a little similar to the WhatsApp color. Great. So let's set the secondary color, which is going to be our WhatsApp white color. Let's set it to white right over here. And let's head to hover. And let's set also the secondary color to white. So when we're going to be hovering over it, it's not going to change to anything or not going to change to gray as we saw a little like a minute ago. So what I want to do is head over to the padding and let's adjust the padding a little. I'm usually setting it around 30 or a little less. As you can see with the arrow, you can control it. Um, Yeah, I think I should set it as this and let's head over to the size and let's put it at 20. Um, No, that's a little smaller. Let's make it 25 or 30. Yeah, I think 30 should do. And we're done styling our WhatsApp icon. What you want to do is head over to the advanced tab. And right over here, what you want to do is set it the position to fixed. So over here, you can see that it's fixed to the top and to the left hand corner of your website or to my window. So right over here, what you want to do is scroll a little bit and head over to the horizontal orientation. And it, you can see it's set to left, you can set it to the right, depending on your website language. And right over here in the vertical orientation, also it's set to top, if you set it to the bottom, it's going to be adjusting itself to the bottom. And what I will recommend you to do is to set not in pixels because pixel is not a responsive measurement for that matter. So I usually set it by percentages or by view height and view width that also is responsive and right over here also set it to percentages and you can play with it. I usually set it to two of the horizontal fit offset and right over here set it to around 80 from the bottom. So around 10 or a little less like about six. So when you close the sidebar, you can see that it scrolls or it stays in the same position no matter where I go. So you can save or update those changes. And right over here, I can see that my icon is a little smaller and I can see that the padding is a little bigger than it is. So I can go back to my style and right over here, I can set it for example to 40 and the padding I can adjust accordingly. And you can see right now it looks a little similar to the WhatsApp icon. So also one thing that you can do, for example, if you want to style it a little bit different than the usual circular frame of the WhatsApp, you can go over here into the border radius and for example, set it to zero, you can say it's rectangular. And right over here, you can set the left option. Usually it's this bottom left corner. For example, you can leave it at zero and all the other ones you can just put them at 50 pixels and you can see that it looks just like it goes from the bottom of the page or from the left bottom hand corner of the website and you can see it a little different. It kind of continues the WhatsApp icon or the WhatsApp widget. I think it looks cool. I can keep it this or you can just set it to 50 pixels or just delete it as it is and it keeps it as a circle. It depends on your own preferences. And if you go to the content tab right over here, what you want to do is set the link. Now the link, there are two options to do that. If you're using Elementor Pro, what you want to do is head over to the stacked dynamic tags or right over here in the same field of the link. And when you click it right over here, scroll a little bit and then you will see the actions. 
click on the contact URL and right over here you will see a ranch icon and click on it. In the type, select the WhatsApp. And right over here, you can paste your number. For my example, it would be this number. And once you're done, just click out of it and then hit update. And then once you click it, it will open the WhatsApp in a new tab, share on WhatsApp. And you can see right over here that it opens it in a new window. And this link is incorrect because this is for demo purposes. If you don't have Elementor Pro is to use a custom link by WhatsApp. And that link will be also down in the description of this video. So make sure you check that too. So you go over to WhatsApp, right to this link, and it will show you here to create your own link. Right over here, use the WhatsApp, HTTPS and WA.me right over here. And right after that, you can paste your own number inside of it. So let's just copy it and let's head over back to our WhatsApp icon right over here, paste it, and then just paste your number. And right over here, also click update and the same thing will apply if I'll click the WhatsApp icon. If I'll click it, it will open in a new page. You can see that this page was not found because this number is only for the tutorial purposes. Now that we're done with the first option, one more option that you can do is install a plugin. So let's exit from this page and let's head over to our plugins. Let's go to add new and let's search for the WhatsApp widget. So now you'll see a few options. So usually I'll be installing the click to chat by holy themes. As you can see, it has a lot of reviews and a lot of installations right over here. So just click install and go ahead and activate it. The next thing that you would notice if you would head over to your website, if we click it and open it in a new tab, right over here, we'll have our new WhatsApp icon that will be just popping it right over here. As you can see, WhatsApp us. And when you click it, you'll see that no WhatsApp number is found because we haven't set it up yet. So that what we're going to do right now. So let's head over back to our WP admin dashboard right over here in our plugins tab. And right over here, what you want to do is click on the click to chat. And then let's go to click to chat. As you'll see right here, we have our number and let's just paste it. And as you can see, it already pre-filled it with the plus one right over here. You have a few options. You can change the style if you want to right over here. You have a few styles to do that. And also a few of the position fixed, for example, and it's usually by default and the position plays at the bottom. What you want to do is also set it up as it will suit you. And when you're done with all the options right over here, you can see a ton of options. Just click the save changes and it will save those changes. And when we're done, let's say, for example, I'm done with my changes and right over here we save changes and let's head over back to our website and let's hit refresh. And now when we click our WhatsApp icon, it will send us to the WhatsApp page and now it will prompt us to open WhatsApp. That is basically how you do that. So we covered two options, how to do it one manually and the other one with the plugin. If you like this video or it helped you, I'll be really glad if you leave a thumbs up. And if you want to stay updated on any other tutorials, whether it's on WooCommerce, Elementor or WordPress, feel free to subscribe and I'll be seeing you in the next one.